Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain about how to display, how to display record details, record details of database table using servlets, using servlets. I just want to take the input from HTML form and I'm connecting with the database using the servlet. I'm connecting with the database and checking the record is present or not. If record is present, right, whatever the input, like for example, account number or employee number, right, that record details we are printing on the web page, a simple one. So here I'm opening Eclipse, I'm creating the dynamic project, dynamic project. For example, I'm taking display, display record or display details i'm taking just click on a finish and then here we are writing first one html page i am creating html page i am creating just html first input dot html page input dot html page i just remove everything which are not required head not required Right for this one, simply I'm writing in body tag only. That is a form only I'm writing. This we ask, enter account number. So first, let me create. Here it is, just from the run prompt. Just from the run, I'm opening my database, Oracle Database SQL Plus. Here, let me create one table with some records system admin password here i'm just checking that the table is present or not account table yes it contains the details number name and balance and let me check in case any records are present or not select start from account yes details are also there so no need to create again right no need to create here it is some details are there so one not one two times repeated. So delete from account. All records I'm deleting first. Deleting. And I'm creating the records. You know all these things. Insert into account values. This is one not one name and the value. And one more record. One more record. Let's keep on inserting. This is one not two. Just two records I'm just giving and commit. Now, if I check, now if I check, select star from account. Just two records are there. Now, I just want to display the record details from servlet. Suppose if the entire record number is 101, the details you have to specify. So, I'm going back to Eclipse HTML page. I'm just asking enter account number input type equals to text and the name equals to that account number that is and followed by we're just giving submit button input type equals to type equals to submit button value equals to get a record get record suppose I'm taking like this. Now all these things belongs to a form tag. So I'm creating one form tag because it is a form data. And when you click on this one, which servlet should execute? For example, display servlet. Display servlet and what is the method? We are getting the details now. So get we are taking. And that form closing tag, form closing tag, we need to write here. So this is the simple way of creating input. Now we need to create the display servlet. Display servlet. So in this one, in this one, I'm creating new, new servlet. And here it is, I'm just giving the display servlet finish. So I'm using the get method. The story is the same. First of all, build path. Set the build path, configure build path. There's a module path, add external jars in lib, 
servlet api.jar file is there just open it open apply and close the next one unnecessary code you just remove from this is a servlet default constructor not required yes get method is required get method is required just these things also not required now now i'm writing the code like this see here i just want to get the information from the request object yes request dot get parameter of what you have given there this number to the text box what we have given is a number that is that number is in a string format so when you try to collect into string you will get error because get parameter returns a string type so you need to convert how to convert means in integer class parse int parse int one method is there we need to pass that input to this parse int method so it will convert that string type integer value into it is its type so after taking that what we have to do right is we need to get the details from the database so you need to create the database loading the driver everything is the same okay now here we are taking that simply loading the driver and everything in a try block loading the driver class dot for name class dot for name so what is the driver name oracle dot driver oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver directly i'm providing the driver right and here it is a catch all exceptions i'm just handling like this system dot out dot print and no we need to display exception also on web page so i'm creating the print writer object out is equals to response dot get writer that is now here i'm displaying that out dot print ln any exception that exception also i'm displaying like this exception with h1 tag or h2 tag e dot get message we just call the method and then closing that one. We are displaying the exception message. Okay. On the web page. After loading the driver, we need to establish the connection. So string URL we need to give. JDBC API is communicating with Oracle with a thin driver. With a thin driver. And I have installed at local host system. At port number is 1521. As I have installed Express Edition, service name is execute. So, how to download me? I mean, how to connect with the database? Driver manager class contains get connection. We know all this stuff directly. I'm writing URL and username is a system, password is admin. This is the authentication of my system, right? If in case if you have given any password, you, you just change it. And I'm collecting into connection C O N driver manager import all these things from the SQL connection driver manager everything you just import. Next, what we have to do? I need to get the details. Finally, once work is done, connection close. Then we need to get the information. So prepared statement we have to create. So spring query equals to select star from account where account number equals to question mark here let me check what is that account number yes n u m only account number then prepared statement we need to create prepared statement ps is equals to con dot prepare statement of passing the query it will return the prepared statement object. It will return the prepared statement object. 
we are importing. After that, after creating the prepared statement, we need to set the value ts dot set int for one question mark the number we set. Then how to call ts dot execute query and what it will return the record it will return as a result set result set rs then if it contains the record we are displaying how can we understand means what simply if rs dot next is there then we are displaying else here we are giving this message invalid details given here just in this one error wait error invalid record details i'm giving like this because there is no such record to input display the information no if record is there then we are collecting the information first rs dot get int of one is nothing but number of course is there anyway no need to collect that directly you can take that name so what is that rs dot get string of two column index next one balance is equal to rs dot get int of three then we display the details one by one one by one i'm writing clearly print ln account number is more clearly account number is then we are displaying how to display that number that is and here sir what is the purpose of this all the things i want to display using that heading tags h1 end and h1 start all the details i am displaying in the same way on the web page this is account holder name is and the account balance is so here we are displaying that name and balance and before going to execute this program one point you have to do as you have connected with the database into this one in web app web inf lib in this library you need to you need to place that ojdbc5 jar file here no build part so go to that oracle installation area in c drive oracle here just for just for ojdbc when you enter then the location because no need to remember this much c oracle app oracle product 11.0 server jdbc lib simply search for this file just copy the file just copy the file here it is a copy then here right click on lib and paste it paste it now here it is there so once it is ready then you can run the application here html run as run on server choose the same server which is already configured now finish then it will start the server just restart the server restart the server then here it is the enter account number suppose 101 get record it is connecting with the database c and it is showing the details of record 101 amar and 5000 c so the same details are present and the same details we displayed here okay so hope you understood please write the code exactly like this and run the run the program just taking the number from the html page connecting to the database okay and getting the record checking the details are present or not if present display if not present invalid record information this is the simple way okay please practice thank you all